All right, good morning, everybody. The timber now is 612 and welcome to winter. Winter officially began this morning a little bit after five o'clock today, the shortest day of the year. And of course, now we're into the winter season. The good news about entering winter is the days now ever so slowly are going to start to get longer. And of course, in probably in a couple of weeks, we'll start to notice the sunset being a little bit later. Sunset today at 420. Temperature wise this morning, we are in the 30s, right around the 32 degree mark. And we have an alert this morning just for the simple reason that there's some fog and also some slippery spots so no big storm or anything like that but just enough of an issue this morning that you may want to allow for a little bit of extra time out there you can see in many spots temperatures are below freezing and of course we had that moisture yesterday we had some of that snow it wasn't a big storm by any means but you looked out the window yesterday afternoon like oh boy here we go but yeah most spots just ended up with a coating to about an inch of snow but you couple that with the fact that temperatures are at or a little bit below 32 some of those untreated surfaces may be a little slick out there visibilities are down here and there it doesn't seem to be too much of an issue yet but visibilities will likely drop over the next couple of hours then the fog will lift but the clouds will be sticking around National Weather Service has put out a dense fog advisory until four um, till nine o'clock this morning for Western Mass it does not include Berkshire County but includes Hamden Hampshire Franklin County all of Worcester County you can see all of Eastern Mass and a good chunk of Connecticut and Rhode Island as well so especially if you're traveling towards Worcester County if anything the fog will just become a little bit more problematic so if the kids are heading to school this morning and they're actually in session at the school just remind them to use a little bit of extra caution. Be careful as they head out. Temperature of about 30 this morning on average. Readings in the middle and upper 30s as we go into the afternoon. The next three days, we're not expecting any big storms or anything like that. Doing that holiday shopping today and tomorrow. We'll have plenty of clouds around, few bright spots, a little bit of sun, and in general, temperatures are going to be seasonable with readings in the middle and upper 30s. Catching some showers right now across Cape Cod and the islands. We had the disturbance move through yesterday, and now it's, it's causing a storm to kind of develop offshore, but that'll be staying offshore. Some more energy you will ride to ourself tomorrow that will throw some clouds our way but again we're not expecting any major precipitation maybe just a sprinkle or flurry tomorrow and the breeze will have a tendency to pick up as well so temperatures seasonable today tomorrow as we go into wednesday 38 today 35 to 40 tomorrow but the breeze picks up in the afternoon and then i'll knock our temps down a little bit as we go into wednesday with temperatures in the mid 30s however it looks as though the jet's going to lift into eastern canada and a southerly flow is going to take hold here as this powerful storm system takes shape across uh, the great lake states but it's going to move up into eastern canada and as it does so, its front, the cold front, is going to head our way. Out ahead of it on Christmas Eve, we're going to get mild temperatures in the middle and upper 50s. The wind will have a tendency to pick up. This is around 4 o'clock or so on Thursday for Christmas Eve. And then as we go into the night, we're going to have some heavy rainfall out ahead of this front. We could have some strong gusty winds. It could absolutely pour out for several hours. Christmas Eve into Christmas morning, temperatures will get mild. I mean, we could be near 60 to start Christmas morning, but then the front barrels through, the wind swings around into the northwest, and our temperatures will be falling during the day on Christmas. So kind of an odd setup for this time of year, but that's the problem or issue we'll be following this week. As we head into Christmas Eve, some of that heavy rainfall, if you're out and about, and wouldn't be surprised if there's a rumble of thunder in there as well. Then we turn seasonable and dry as we head into the weekend. All right, that's a look at your forecast. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Taylor, back over to you. All right, thanks for that, Dan. Well, let's take you across America now to New York City.